Hello friends. Welcome to my new Java interview questions and answers series video. In this series, we will discuss Java top interview questions and answers. Let's move ahead. Today, we will discuss about most frequently asked Java interview question as What is serialization in Java? Friends. Let's discuss what is serialization in Java. Friends. Serialization is a process of saving state of an Java object to a sequence of bytes. These sequence of bytes can be sent over a network or stored in a file. Serialization also involves process of building object state back, after reading sequence of bytes from over a network or from a stored file. This process is also called as deserialization. Moving ahead. Let's see the conditions which we need to implement in order to make a Java object serializable. The class must implement the java.io.serializable interface. This interface is the marker interface. It signifies that a class which implements serializable interface can be serialized to file, database, memory or over network. All of the fields in the class must be serializable. If a field is not serializable, it must be marked transient. Let's discuss the serialization process. The diagram depicts the serialization process. Here, suppose we have a Java object which we want to serialize. This Java object must implement java.io.serializable interface. Using object output stream, we will transform the Java object into stream of bytes, and save state of object either into file, database or memory. Moving ahead. Let's create a Java class by name student. In order to make the student serializable, it must implement serializable interface. It has a property as student name, along with its getters and setters. Moving ahead. In the test class main method, let's create an instance of student object. Set the student name as Dinesh Varyani. Create a file output stream instance, passing into the location and name of the file, where we want to serialize the student object. Here location and name of file provided is slash, student.ser. Moving ahead. Create an object output stream instance, by passing in the file output stream instance created above. In order to serialize object to file student.ser, call object output streams write object method, passing in student object. Moving ahead. Close object output stream and file output stream. Run the Java code. Output of the program would be. Student saved successfully. Moving ahead. Let's discuss the deserialization process. The diagram depicts the deserialization process. Here, suppose we have a Java object already serialized into either a file, database or memory. In order to deserialize it back into a Java object, we will use object input stream which will transform stream of bytes to a Java object. Moving ahead. In the test class main method. Create a file input stream instance, passing in the location and name of file, where we have already serialized Java object. In our case we have serialized the Java object into a file slash, student.ser. Moving ahead. Create an object input stream, by passing into it file input stream instance created above. In order to deserialize back the Java object, we will use object input stream method by name, read object. This method will deserialize the serialized student object, back into student object. Moving ahead. Close object input stream and file input stream. Run the Java code. Output of the program would be Student name, Dinesh Varyani So friends this was all about serialization in Java. This concept of serialization in Java is been asked frequently in Java interviews. So friends, go through this video two to three times so that, serialization in Java concept gets more clear to you. Hope you like this video. Please give one minute to like, share, comment or subscribe my channel, 
or you can visit my website at www.hubberspot.com.